What is up my original bagels and welcome back to another Rant Wednesday. So today, today is Wednesday. And this is a ra- Ah, oh, my fucking hand. Okay, right. And this is Rant Wednesday as I already said. And today's rant is actually about Ireland's recession. So, if you- well, Most people should know that Europe- the euro anyway went into recession but ireland was one of the worst hit and then it was greece now but just about ireland's recession so our economy basically blew up during the celtic tiger years which started in 1995 and ended in 2007 due to people well and the banks well actually more or less just the banks because the banks handed out money that we did not we did not have to give to builders and building investors and all of them or just really anyone like to be honest and then at the end of the third quarter of 2010 germany had 186.4 billion us dollars and in total they had 2.208.3 billion that was their total in US dollars. And Ireland only had 57.8 billion. And of course, us being idiots, well, the government actually being idiots, gave all this 57.8 billion to the banks. And of course, this led to the expansion of credit and the property bubble. Bubble, Jeez, don't know what happened there. Which came out, uh, which we came out of in 2007. Then Irish banks gave too much money to the property market and the banks then became under pressure pushing down on me at yeah damn that was that was awkward as hell anyway in 2007 september of 2008 i mean due to the go- global financial crisis of 2007-2008 the economy showed finances or uh our government's finances began to show signs of impending recession by the end of 2007 and the person that told us the irish people this wasn't a government official this wasn't a td it wasn't even the t shock uh bertie o'hearn see i couldn't even remember his name because it's just he was just so bad no it was actually eddie hobbs and Eddie Hobbs, just, I think he's a financial person. I'm, well, actually, I'm full sure that he's a financial person. And once we went into recession, there was no sign of him. So why did Eddie Hobbs tell us that we were going into recession and not try and help us? Like, that's, I don't get that. And, yeah, I know not many people are going to probably watch this. But does that mean Eddie Hobbs is a coward? Because he told us knew this was going to happen, and probably up and left. That's what I think he did. But anyway, getting back on track. In 2004-2008, the bank's borrowing went from 15 billion, it's, it's still a lot, 15 billion now in all fairness, to 110 billion. Most of this was borrowed on a three-month rollover basis to fund building projects. To fund building projects. We had so many houses built and there's so many ghost estates still that people are coming around and knocking them down. That's how many we had. That's how bad it was. And of course, the worst bank of all that handed out money like it was nothing was Anglo-Irish Bank. They were the worst for it. And really nothing actually happened to them because every time they were taken to court, yeah, they put in jail for a while and really that's all that they could do they didn't really repossess anything because everything was put in the wives names so why not just take anything why not take everything away the house the cars everything that they owned eat fuck it if it was if it was owned by the wives take that as well feck them they, they don't they do not deserve to have everything they have now and they still have it and we suffer for something the banks did why should we suffer and these scumbags all they were put in jail 
and of course we should have repossessed everything and then sold the stuff on then in 2007 unemployment rose from 4.2 percent that's that's really high for a small country like us to 14.6 percent in february 2012 14.6 that's at least 400,000 people unemployed in February 2010 and of course when Brian Cowan became Taoiseach nothing actually got better instead things got worse the government brought in in emergency budget of October 2008 like th why it that didn't make anything better that just borrowed more money from the euro and gave it to us and we had a higher debt to pay Ireland officially declared it was in recession in September 2008 after a whole year of the bubble being burst the Celtic Tiger being gone in 2007 then you tell us in September in September that we're in recession and then the government taxed the utter crap out of people that had jobs and cut wages and then in 2009 NAMA so was was created so NAMA is actually it was set up as a function as a bad bank acquiring property development loans from Irish banks in return for the government purple debt bonds and now we are well as they say the economy is picking up <laughs> it's picking up in dublin but if you end kenny i know and kenny probably won't even much as it probably won't even this probably won't even go much but if ender kenny even came out of his palace of dublin and came to the rest of ireland and see we are not doing good it's hard for people to keep going personally i have lost three friends that I was great friends with, who I used to be great friends with now, with, and they moved to New Zealand and America, and I don't know. Also, what I don't get is America was in recession as well, but yet one man, right? Listen, listen one man, a single person, can get them out of recession. A single person. That's one person. If if the TD, if the TDs of Ireland or the Taoiseach doesn't really know, understand what one person is. It's basically a person on its own. But yet, here we have in Ireland a load of TDs and a Taoiseach who can't get us out of recession. <laughs> and I find it funny how a bunch of old, dumb fools that most of the time don't even go to the doll can't get us out of recession. And there's an old saying that I think is very wrong in Ireland anyway. It's two brains are better than one. Fifty brains are better than one, basically. Just, uh, there's, I don't know how many are in the doll actually, but I'll just, I just said fifty just in case. I'm close to it. But fifty brains are better than one. <laughs> no. No, it is not. One brain in America is better than 50 people here. 50 of our TDs are great TDs and our Taoiseach. Like, also, if you want to get Ireland out of recession, what you need to do is cut all the TDs and the Taoiseach's massive wages. Like, the Taoiseach is getting more than, than Barack Obama, the President of America, is in a year and how how why why and how can this happen and i have a feeling that if you cut all td and t shock wages you'll have about over a billion straight away at least but no they won't do this because they are little babies that if they if this happened they would probably go back crying to their mothers and of course then there's another thing that TDs and Taoiseachs don't drive themselves to the doll. They actually have somebody to drive themselves. 
You have a license, don't you, people? Then drive. I don't get this. Why do you need another person to drive you there? What are you going to do in the back? Just spread your legs out. Like, that would save so much money if we, if the government didn't have, the TDs and Taoiseach didn't have a person that would drive them around the place. That would save so much. And they should have to live in a normal house, not like a big ass mansion. And then once we get on our feet, then you put the wages up by 5%. And if it keeps getting better to go, then you put it up to 10, so on, so on, so on, so on, until it goes up to the normal. And yeah, I know it's not a lot, but it could work. Also, why should we have over 50 TDs and a, just one Taoiseach? Or just, why don't we just have the president, or even just have Enda Kenny on his own, the leader, like over in America? Also, do what America did. They printed more money. That's what we need to do. That's what they did. And one man got them out of recession. And we can't even get ourselves out of recession. That took two years for them at least to get out of recession. It's taken us, what, from 2008, 2007, 2015. Like, how? That's, that's just, that's a, that's so dumb how it could take us nine years to get out of recession. And, and like, we're still in it though. So it's not, it's going to take more years. I can predict until I'm about 20 in three years, we'll still not be out of it. We will not be out of it because our government are, is so dumb. It's just so dumb. It's not right. Also... We stopped, well, the Irish Coast Guard police, whatever you want to call them, stopped 160 million worth of drugs. 160 million. Right, just let that soak in. 160 million worth of drugs. 160 million euro. Why would we keep this? Why would we store it up and keep it? Why wouldn't we just sell it on to the highest bidder? And you're probably asking, why do I say this? Well, this may be stupid and it's hell legal, but that would be 160 million into our economy. So what if some crackhead, high, big ass drug dealer or Mexican cartel buys it? Whatever. Whatever way we can do to get money. And that's how I think we be able to get out of the recession anyway. And if you were to say we are out of recession then you are either a rich a rich person or you live in Dublin because outside of Dublin and the rich people we are not good and Edna Kenny does not know about this because he is too stuck up to come out of his little palace of Dublin of course uh, most of the TDs are as well to come out and actually see and live the they should have to live for about three months like us. And then you will see how bad it is. But yeah, I know I'm kind of rambling on now, guys. I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. This is actually a rant. I know I kind of went off. But if you can share this or show somebody this at least that's in the government or something, that wouldn't probably wouldn't actually help, to be honest, when I think about it. But... Anyway, that is it guys. I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe, and peace.